ए पॉइंट ये इज थर्टी एम एम एबो एच पी एंड फोर्टी एम एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ बी पी कम ड्रॉ दि प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ इट so by seeing the read in the question we come to know they given above hp and in front of vp means this is the first quadrant when you see the question you have to read, read it where it will come which quadrant the point is kept we need to understand so that is given above hp 30 and in front of vp that means above hp and in front of vp they given means this comes in first quadrant already we explain how to represent the first quadrant in 2d mode means we need to write xy line bp will be above xy line and hp comes below xy line first we will draw that so you can uh, take a line uh, the year the drawing lines in the line conventions in a previous uh, session we discussed that the xy line and all will be normal line only the profile profile means the object object shadow will be written in visible line here the object is what point point means it's just a dot we need to put a dot dot should be thick and remaining line should be thin normal line you can use a pencil hb pencil or normal pencil or else in the same pencil if you while writing the normal lines you gently draw don't apply much pressure slightly you have to draw that then it will look a thin line if you want to make uh, visible line means apply a little force then the width of the line will increase then uh, that will be visible line like this you can vary or if you can use a different uh, thickness pencil Okay, this is uh, the technique you can follow. And first, x y line will be always normal line. That is a thin line. We can follow. We can uh, somewhere on the page, the left side. You can start first, first point. You can see now on the thin. You can draw the what horizontal line, exactly horizontal line. You have to draw the line like this. Okay, that is a x y line. After that, we need to. Write the x y. That should be x y should be capital letter x and y at the end of the line. You have to write the x y at the end of the lines. One side x, another side is y. We need to write v p and h p. We know above x y v p. Can write it. The above x y line, you have to write the v p, and below you have to write h p. Got it? You have to. By seeing this, we can understand this is the first quadrant. That is above x y line v p comes, and below x y line h p comes. Okay, next. Next is we need to. Put a dot. That is above HP distance. We need to show it in BP. I said above HP distance should be shown in BP. That is front view. So somewhere on the line you can keep the scale. From the scale you measure three centimeters. So all the dimensions in mm. In scale you can see centimeters. You can uh, take three centimeters. That means thirty mm. Keep the scale perpendicular and one, two, three. On that uh, third three centimeter, put a dot. The dot should be little thick, and you can able to see the dot. You have to differentiate the dot like that. You have to put. It should not uh, much bigger and should not be not uh, seen like. It. You should not put small also. Optimum level. You have to put the dot. Get it? Somewhere on that uh, x y line, put the scale perpendicular to x y line and measure three centimeter one two three and put a dot. After that, from the dot. we need to join connecting line that is a projection line we can say that connecting line should be drawn from the dot that is the front view to xy line perpendicular like this you have to draw the line till xy line that line should be very thin normal line it should not be thick lightly you have to draw it you can able to see the dot properly after drawing the line also okay next and this is a front view i said it the notation will be a Dash the front view 
in BP, whatever we write, that will be with the dash. A dash. That should be lower case. Whatever with respect, they give your point A. I will write A dash. If they give your point P, then I need to write P dash. If they give your point Q, I need to write Q dash. All the lettering should be done with the lower case. So after finishing this, we need to give the dimensioning. I need to show how much uh, distance it is from the XY line. So that, that is the dimensioning. To write the dimensioning, first what we need to start with? We need to start with extension lines. Extension lines should be drawn at the between the different uh, entities where we want to show the dimension. See from A dash to I want to show the dimension to XY line. So extension line should be drawn here. The extension line should not touch the A dash. We need to keep some space and then we need to draw an extension line, very thin line horizontally. That means it should perpendicular to this line. Got it? See, this is the extension line should be drawn here. It should not touch the point. We need to keep some space. Then it should be horizontally here to draw it. Okay, after finishing that, don't start from the end of the extension line. I said we need to keep some space from the end. From somewhere here, we need to draw dimension line. See, the dimension line should be parallel to this or perpendicular to extension line. Like this, you have to draw the dimension line. And at the end, we need to show the arrow edge. Arrow edge should be filled. It's not simply in the arrow. The arrowhead should be filled completely. You have to fill the gap inside the arrowhead. After writing the dimension line and arrowheads, you can write the dimension figure 30. Align type. Either you can use the align type or you can use unidirectional. To write the unidirectional means what? You have to erase the, the middle portion here. You can trim it and you can write this 30 horizontally. Any one method you can use it. I am using align because software by default it will take align type of system. I am showing the align. Or if you if you uh, started with align means all the parameters or all the dimensions should be done with align only. If you did unidirectional, all the dimensions should be unidirectional. Okay. Okay. Now we go to the the top view one more. That is the given point is in front of BP 40 mm. Then again, keep the scale downside here. That line should be in line with this. When you draw the line, it should be in line with, and the point what you put uh, that should come in a straight line of this one, align to this, and measure 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 centimeter, 40 mm. Measure it and put a dot here. Like this, you have to put it. And from this point, draw the line towards XY line. And when you draw, these two lines should come in a one line, straight line it should come. Like that you have to put a dot and you have to draw the line. It should be in line. A straight line it should come. After that, this point is named as A. The top view will be A and front view will be A dash. After finishing that, same, draw the extension line at the bottom until dimension line, you should, you should draw the dimension line parallel to this and arrow heads at the either ends and write the dimension figure 40, either aligned or unidirectional. Here I am using aligned, here also should be aligned. If you are using unidirectional, here also you should do unidirectional. Don't mix up with the one system or two systems, you should not mix up. You have to follow only one type of system.